First alert, weather with Dominus Brown to see what the rest of the week Dominus is going to bring because I know the temperatures are going back up. Yeah, back into the 90s and we won't see quite as much rain either. I know you don't want to see those 90s. I <laughs> know we've no. had a bit of a break from some of that, but check things out. The Fort Worth sky cam a bit earlier this afternoon and in this evening. Check out the showers and storms that roll through. It's kind of rough in parts of downtown Fort Worth a bit earlier, but things are quiet. A look at first alert radar will show you that we a lot of grain here. A lot of the grain that you see on the map is mainly the radar at its lowest beam, this ground clutter. But this is some rain. It's just light and steady over portions of Collin County uh, near McKinney and Farmersville and to the northern reaches there of Dallas County near Garland. That's about it for now. We still have some leftover boundaries out there. The swirl that you see also in the satellite is an upper level low that's out there and it's provided some of the instability out there. So can't completely take out the chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm through the overnight, but I think some of us will get through the night pretty dry. As we look at future cast, you'll see the clock here at the top of the screen. Can't again rule out as we go through the overnight sometime around one, two o'clock in the morning. You might hear a little shower on the rooftop, but overall we're not talking about a ton of rain in the viewing area. This is towards 6, 615 in the morning. Could see a few showers still out there as we're going to work and school early in the day. It won't rain all day. That's toward the lunchtime hour, but later in the afternoon with some of the heating of the day and the upper level low still spinning in the upper atmosphere. That means we can't rule out a few isolated showers and thunderstorms from time to time. By the time we go into your Wednesday morning there, mainly dry conditions early on. Best chance of showers mainly to the east, but later in the afternoon we could see a few pop up showers developing here and there. Then later in the week, this upper level low will continue to move farther to the east. And with the flow pattern counterclockwise around this low, that's a drier air flow. That means we won't see quite as much rain as we move into the end of the week into your weekend, and it won't feel quite as hot either. Temperatures, though, still will be on the toasty side <laughs> to the low 90s. All right, so as we look at the bus stop forecast, all right, it's back to school and back to the books, kids. 73 early in the day, about 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. Any running to do, you'll see temperatures about 75 at 8, 86 at noon, and temperatures by 4 o'clock in the low 90s. Hourly, you'll see the numbers still again starting off the day in the middle 70s, upper 80s by the lunchtime hour there, and some low 90s with that 20% chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. The average high is about 92 this time of the year, so 93s for Tuesday and Wednesday, low 90s for Thursday. And as we look at the first alert seven day forecast, the 90s stick around straight into the weekend. You'll see here though that we don't have a lot of wet weather in the forecast. That drier air, Thursday, Friday, 92 there, 92 degrees going into Saturday, 91 degrees going into Sunday, 92 for Monday, and the first day of fall officially in about 17 days. Well, it doesn't feel like it. Nope. September was supposed to come in here and act like it had some sense. <laughs> Not so much. No. I